Hello, uh, welcome to the channel. Today, let's look into a question that was asked in one of my business analytics interviews and a skill question. So, the question goes like this Consider you are working at a food delivery company. You are asked to retrieve the list of customers for placing order from restaurant ID 2121 or 3 but not from both. Given data, we have a sample data here. Table name is food and we have two columns, user ID and restaurant ID. Now the user ID has data uh, that is the user IDs 1001, 1002, 1004. And the restaurant IDs are the only two IDs 2121 and 3148. So the answer is given below. That's essentially we'll have to find a distinct of users who are placed an order from restaurant A or restaurant B minus distinct of customers who are placed an order from both restaurant A and restaurant B and therefore from the above table the output should essentially be 1001, 1002 and 1004 as the user IDs because if you see here 1003 user has placed an order from both the restaurants just a moment Alright, so let's start writing the query. So I already have the data uploaded. Can you see here? It's right here. So we have all the customer IDs. Uh, we have 50 customers. So 3118. Let me put down a filter. Customer uh, ID equals 3118. So this should give me all the customers who place an order from restaurant 3148. So let me just take the user IDs as well as I will. Yeah. Yeah. So we can, a uh, BigQuery has this uh, function which is called intersect all intersect distinct so I can use that and let me paste it down we are essentially getting the same thing for two different instances two one two one Yeah, so this is going to give us the second part of the question that is mentioned here. Distinct of customers who are placed an order from both. Now let's make that as a query or sub query, but let's see if it result. Um, the result seems slow. Yeah, we have the result. So these are the customers who have placed an order from both restaurant A and restaurant B. So let me make this as a sub query. All done. So I want to choose all those customers who have placed an order from either A or either B. So select distinct over ID. from the table name uh, here I am putting down the filter where the sorry. Different ID in uh, two one two one comma three double one four eight. This in function essentially acts as uh, or and uh, and not in. So the bottom part gives us and 
and the top part you have R and let's run it. So essentially if we run this, we should not find the number 1076 or 107. So it got your ID of the company. So one the zero seven one zero seven six. So we don't see one zero zero seven or one zero seven six either. So we have got the query right. So there is another way to complete this uh, work on this query. We can also use an inner join for the inner part of it where we are counting for and. So I'll compute the inner join. Inner join essentially gives all the customers who are in the table X or table Y and table Y. So in a join, uh, so you are joining X and Y. This is self join essentially. On X dot user ID equals Y dot user ID. So this essentially uses all the customers who have uh, who have had an order placed from both of these and rejoining it and let's just get on with user ID outside so So it's giving, giving me an ambiguity error. So let's move here. just take this from uh, the table one. So we don't have any error showing now. This should run. Um, So yes, we do not have one double zero seven, nor do we have one double zero seven six. So that was the answer in the previous part of it. Okay. So we have got the answer. Uh, so essentially, what is happening here is the top part gives us. Customers who have placed an order from either restaurant one or two, and the bottom part uses all those customers who have placed an order from either one or either two or two. That is both of them. Yes, uh, and that's it. And uh, I'll be posting more interview questions that are experienced in the past, and we'll be solving more business case studies in my channel. Uh, if you want something, uh, do put it down in the comment, and I'll work on that. Thank you.